Receivers now. We're at the good Mass Effect 2 Boiler Cast. First one of the receivers sitting digitally through the internet. Hey, other achiever friends. Alex, how are you? I'm good. How about you? Alex, we're talking about Mass Effect 2, so I mean, I literally can't be better. You can't I mean, be any better than you are right now. No, no. If, if <laughs> as long as I'm talking about Mass Effect, it's good for, it's a fine day for me. Yes. Now you clicked on the video, so you know it's Mass Effect Two spoiler cast. We'll be discussing about all the game. Of course, Mass Effect Two released January twenty sixth, twenty ten. Published by EA, developed by Bioware. This was the sequel to Mass Effect One, releasing two thousand seven. I think. And it was critically acclaimed at the time. It's obviously better game than the prior uh, Mass mm -hmm. Effect. And I played it when it launched. I was really into it. Alex also played it when it launched. So our history is pretty similar, I would say, to the one. Um, we had already loved the series, so we went straight into this one back in 2010 and loved it all the way. Mm -hmm. Now, Alex. Yes. The game starts... And Shepard in Normandy getting attacked by an unknown vessel. We later find out, of course, to be the collectors. We die. What did you think about that the first time? Kind of, you know, nothing kind of happens from it really because you die and immediately come back. But mm. did that? I mean, when I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I had a feeling because I had just recently played one when I mm -hmm. first played this one because that's when you firstly, uh, firstly introduced me to Mass Effect. Mm. <clears throat> and then two came out and i was like oh heck yeah i'm excited right as soon as it started i see the collective ship i didn't know what it was at first i was like oh my god they're being shot at literally everything's just exploding i'm like oh it's like a halo one type of thing everybody's gonna get in airpods we're gonna go to that planet that's right there we'll probably fight them airpods nope. yeah did i say airpods <laughs> yeah it's awesome oh, I, I know whatever. they're called airpods from now on okay cool yeah um i don't honestly blanking <laughs> you're good go uh, escape shows. um thank you whatever um and then they, you 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 die and i was yeah. like are we going to play as someone else mm -hmm. now and i was so confused alex i remember as if it's happened yesterday i literally mm -hmm. just turned off that e3 <clears throat> and walked into the stream to talk to you e3 yeah. 2008 or 9 i don't remember the year of it but essentially, an EA PR person came on and said, uh, the, essentially, the rumor was Commander Shepard died, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't know if it was going to be a different character or, or not. But the guy got, got on stage and said, uh, hey, is he really dead? And he says, no, he's not dead. <laughs> but he did die. Yeah, now it's my mind blown blown at that time yeah. like literally i picture the stage very crappy for like what what you would normally see a stage now because again it's 2009 mm -hmm. but like they're all sitting on stools there's like a like people like clapping like yay shepherd's alive Ugh. <laughs> let me tell you it's a great time but yeah i i was i i it was cool to me when it happened now one of mm -hmm. the things i was like he, they can just bring him back to life okay all right it seemed really easy so i was like mm -hmm. all right they, they spent a lot of money on him i guess and they brought him back game opens of course on that station you're running around um, oh what's going on yeah and of course you get to import your mass effect one character which yeah to me it's very cool when i first played the game and like nothing else really did that you never really got no, to carry yeah. your progress through another game mm -hmm. and i you know correct me if i'm wrong Alex, but i I don't really see many games even now really doing that. Of course, as of recording, we played the Legendary Edition. Of course, you could see it from the top there. Legendary Edition. Yep. Not really many games doing the choice thing. Of course, Mass Effect <clears throat> is critically acclaimed. I think all of the one in a lot of people's favorite trilogies, mine especially. I'm surprised people haven't aped Mass Effect more because you don't really see it like to this degree. Really, like I can I can think of a few off the top of my head, but nothing. quite why like this mm -hmm. I, just, I wonder why um, it's, it's strange to me I, I wish more people i don't know it seems were like inspired it's only a, it seems like it's only a 
Man, like at, at the time, only mm. a Bioware thing. Cause yeah, you know, it really Dragon was. Age. Yeah, yeah. You had player choice. Like, yeah, like Bioware was known for their. And then the only other game that had it was thing. Kingdom of Amalur, which was like, was mm-hmm. it? I, I don't I remember was, the developer, I mean, but it was published by EA. So I mean, it felt very similar. Yeah. But I mean, I, I mean, we played that for a little bit. We enjoyed it, but we didn't. I, I mean, I never finished it. So yeah, yeah, but. But yeah, I, I wish this was aped a little more. Like, I wish people actually mm-hmm. like use choice as like some storytelling device. Yeah. It was it was a third big game, big huge games or thirty eight studios. It's just developer. Cool for that Thank game. You. Thank you. Uh, of course, we wake up in that server station, very confused, mm-hmm. and we hear Miranda screaming over the intercom. Wake up, Shepard! Mm-hmm. Grab up. your armor and weapon from the terminal. You get up, like, grab the weapon, grab your armor that's from the arrived? terminal. <laughs> yeah, Shepard's like, all right, <laughs> and then of course there's shenanigans. You figure out Watson, one of the people who helped you, sold you out. Mm-hmm. The collectors, they tried to eat you. Um, I guess they offered him money. I don't know if if a collector comes over and you talks to live? me. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he was like, hey, if we we're just gonna kill you. And he's like, oh, <laughs> I'll take the other option. And Miranda killed him anyways, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, from that point, one of my favorite as soon as she did that I was like oh, I don't like her yeah 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 one of my favorite scenes actually is um when, <clears throat> when you see Miranda she just shoots this dude in the head and it cuts to you and you're just pointing a gun at her <laughs> I, I love that you're like I'll fucking do it <laughs> I'll do it I'll, give me a reason give me a reason he's got it sideways too for some reason mm-hmm. uh, get to that for some reason, I love that shuttle scene where it's like, "Hey, we gotta test if he remembers anything." So, like, who's the mm-hmm. counselor and who's it? And I've never actually tested it, but I'm curious if you choose different stuff if it's gonna influence I don't things. Because they ask you, "Did you save Asher or Caden?" I'm assuming. Well, no, 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 sorry, they don't ask you that. They tell you that's what happened. The only mm-hmm. thing they ask you is the counselor thing, and I'm pretty sure that's a choice. Because I feel like if you pick the other one, that's who's counselor. Yeah, I think so because I mean. Ten. Cause, Actually, well, if you remember, there's say. no way to save in yeah. Mass Effect One after the game ends. No, yeah, no. So no. I feel like that's like a back way of like, hey, we don't know if you picked that or not. So it's just like, yeah. maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But it's beside the point. We meet the elusive man now. First off, Alex, we heard about Cerberus in Mass Effect One. We heard mm-hmm. about this kind of weird organization that experiments on people in like very heinous ways. Mm-hmm. Did you at any point ever trust this gentleman? Uh, no. No. Okay. Yeah. They make it pretty clear that he's definitely when, not a when man I see that you a want man, to be nice with. When I see a man literally sitting in a chair, always fucking smoking that <laughs> same ass cigar with some blue eyes and has a huge planet behind him, <laughs> there's something wrong. There's some shenanigans afoot, right? I I, yeah. I remember seeing him. He always has those eyes, those yeah. sim- the synthetic eyes. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely has some fake ass eyes. I always mm-hmm. saw him more like, wow, you, first off, you look really cool right now. Oh, second, yeah. you will literally backstab <clears throat> me the first second you get. <laughs> like, like the yes, first yes, second, yes. you like won't think about it. You're just bam. So, mm-hmm. uh, Elusive Man, yeah, very much. Uh, first off, I love his character. He is very clearly a I'm getting results guy, which I like. Mm-hmm. I think it's a, especially if you're a Paragon Shepherd, which like the majority of people are in, that play Mass Effect. I think it's like ninety yep. percent or something like that. Are gonna be a paragon, that. so it's a ba- it's a good back and forth where you're like working with Cerberus, yep. and like you have this kind of like, hey, I'm not gonna do that, you weirdo. You know, you, know. <laughs> you, you you learn that the collectors, of course, taking everything. No one knows why. Uh, and I was uh, I always thought it was strange when they brought up collectors, Alex. Mm-hmm. These things look terrifying. I guess they can talk to you because they say they trade with people. They're like, oh, yeah, they come and they yeah, sell stuff totally all weird. the time. And I was like, oh, I've never pictured these things trying to talk to you. But I guess they can in some way communicate to get things. It's very sh- that was a little weird thing that, I, that always struck me, even since first playing the game. I was like, so these things, like, come into stores and, like, buy stuff? Pretty creepy. Pretty creepy. We, of course, later learn those are Protheans, which, yep. boy, oh, boy, is that effed to the A. <laughs> Not only do the Reapers completely blow your entire system and civilization and culture away, 
they then take your bodies and slowly mutate them over hundreds and thousands of years. <laughs> like these reapers, a little much, guys. Turn it back. You're these guys. Yeah. These poor dudes. Like like you're you're turning them into these weird bug people. It's messed up. It's the, it's the, it, dude, yeah, yeah. When I first heard that, I was like, they're protheans. Was that like, was that a surprise what? to you? It was to me. Um, it. It was to me, it was, but then I thought about it. I'm like, I mean, I guess I could have, should have seen it because they look so much like like them. I guess because didn't they show them before, kind of like you know the, the visions or no? Uh, I guess I can agree that you do kind of see them in one. Not really, I feel like. Uh, yeah, you but you kind of do. Them, but but mm-hmm. to me, of course, when Mass Effect Two launched, we have never seen a Prothean. Yeah. Unless you count the visions, you kind of can tell it's sort of buggy face, but uh, yeah, it was a huge shock to me when it first happened. When I first said, like, when Edie goes, yeah, these uh, used to be Protheans, I was like, mm-hmm. whoa. I, I I don't know what I, th- I just had never even considered what the collectors were. I just was like, oh, maybe this is like some sort of Reaper f- person that they make or something. And they just like send out, and it's probably like super cheap to make them or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but yeah, that was a huge thing for me to figure out. I was like, wow, I, I really didn't think about this clearly enough. And yeah, I I I like it though. Is this something that you enjoy? I like that they not only kind of expand the lore mm-hmm. and bringing back proteins. Like yeah, these things, no, these, the, what they used to be proteins, you now have to fight them. No, yeah, I always kept they every time they kept talking about proteins, 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 and I'm like, well, where the hell is one? I want to yeah. see one. I want to know more about them. And you've been fighting them the whole game. It's such a co- yep. co- cool little thing. Now mm-hmm. you're told through shenanigans and and giggles and things that hey, these collectors they're bad guys, and you got to build a team to go mm-hmm. fight at their home place. We got to figure out where first off where they live. Second off, we have to use this Omega Four relay to get there. We don't know how to use the Omega-4 Relay at all, and we also don't know where they are. So figure mm-hmm. that out while you're out there building your team. And you know what, Alex? <laughs> That's what we do. We go out and we build our team. Yep. Alex, who's the first person you get? You, you of course, scientists, Archangel, and um, the biotic prisoner. Is so, that, who, who do you go to first? Oh, that first one? We're, of course, not, not bo- including DLC people. That, that's okay. different. Okay. That's so... Different. We go to Archangel. Archangel first. Okay. I'm always mm-hmm. Morden guy. I always go for Morden first. I like immediately unlocking that. that the lab. reason, the reason, is because every, I, I'm not gonna lie, I think I knew immediately mm-hmm. as soon as they're like, oh, Archangel, there's this uh, mercenary dude, mm-hmm. and I was like, that has to be Garrus. Like, I did. That has to be. I didn't. When I first I, played the game, I did not. Mm-hmm. I I, I I I was like a hook line and sinker for this game. I was like, oh, I wonder who it is. I to be honest, like, I oh, I cool. knew it was Garrus when they were like, I hear everybody talking. They're like, yeah, yeah, all we know that he's a Turian. I'm like, oh, got it. That's yeah, Garrus. the Turian. It, I was like, eh, maybe he's Garrus. When I yeah. saw him sniping, mm-hmm. I was like, is this Garrus? And then mm-hmm. you see it, and I was and per, could, this shows Bioware's majesty with with companions and storytelling i it, mm. when i first I, I definitely remember cracking a smile when you when you see him take that helmet off and he's like thought you were and fucking he dead and he's like yep and thought you were like, dead dude yeah. why are you here <laughs> <laughs> you have that good back and forth you could choose if you shepherd it's like garris like holy crap i always mm-hmm. of course pick that but but yeah that that was a that was always a special mission for me i love the morda mission uh, meeting him, he's so unique. No one else is like him in the game. Again, no, do I? Yeah, I definitely enjoy his banter to himself yeah. half the time. Like mm-hmm. it's so cool. Hey, he had to do it. Someone uh. else might have gotten it wrong. Oh, mm. God, so good. For those who don't know what's happening yet, you will. You will. This is a spoiler cast. They all know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I oh, I see what you mean. Um. The mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of course. <laughs> We we're finished with Omega. We got our Angus. We got the scientists. Let's leave. Let's mm-hmm. leave. We're going over to a prison. Picking up Jack. Now, do you like Jack? I love Jack's character. Yes. Yes, I do I think Jack. I do think throwing down just a little bit for the game. She does kinda near the end when you get her loyalty mission done and she mm-hmm. kinda relaxes a little bit. And you know what? I, I I'm kinda tired of, of going through like the game by game motion. So I, I really just wanna 
go straight into companions because I really do think that's what mm-hmm. makes Mass Effect 2 so good. First off, the gameplay and the gunplay is so much better in this game than in one. Oh, for sure. This dude. was above and beyond better. This was cleaner mm-hmm. combat, cleaner cover, which is, I think, mm-hmm. most important. Now you just, a single button, you hit in the cover. Whether in Mass Effect 1, you had to kind of hump it and then you got into the cover. Yeah, this one you just this one? hit a button. Hey, you're in, you're in cover. Perfect, perfect. Like, literally, it's perfect now. And then mm-hmm. you have biotic detonations, which are very fun in this game. Like mm-hmm. this, this gave you like a way of like comboing your skills, like with your your, with your uh, squad mates. That was so satisfying. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, this guy, the biggest cast we've ever seen in a Mass Effect since, and um, until and since then, we still haven't gotten a cast in even half the size. No, yeah, yeah, no, it's but, we, we had so many. So people. there's so there's so many campaigns in this game, and I really hope. If we see Mass Effect in this style again, I want that. I want a lot of people. I, and yes. it's like I love that big cast. Literally, give me one of every species. That's, yeah, uh, that is a good way of doing it. But, but um, and but yeah, who's them. your who, who's your favorite <laughs> companion in this game? Because you really don't get many returners aside from mm-hmm. Garrison Tally. You don't get Rex. You you, you don't get mm-hmm. uh, Ashley or Caden if you save them in this game. Yep. But we can get into that later. But who's your favorite squad mates in this one? I know mm. it's usually Liara and Garrus or Ashley if you're in that type of movie. Mm. I know you're a huge Miranda fan. Tell me about that. Yeah. Yeah, I to be fair, I the only reason I even ever started loving Miranda mm. was because the actress I could tell who the who it was. It was from Dexter. Yeah. For people who know Dexter, mm. she played Hannah McKay. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I know her. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to have Hannah McKay as my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then they showed her, you know, they showed her she's in the black, very sexualized, of course. Very. She's clearly. Yeah. She's probably sexual. the most sexualized person in this game. In, uh, the, whole in series. the series. Yeah, I would, I would series, agree. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> kudos to them for making it a part of her character, right? Yes. Very easy to, to be sexualized. Dude. And it seems like mm-hmm. there's no meaning, right? Um. You get issues like uh, I can't think of anything specific, but there's uh, plenty of characters throughout. Mm. I guess you could say male media that have just been this kind of hey, she's sexy, and that's her character. She's sexy. Mm-hmm. And this one, you get a you get a reason why is she in this skin tight suit? Well, she's like engineered to be perfect. Like she just has the one cell from her father, and she was bioengineered. She was uh, a syringe baby, and she was like. It, to be perfect she has these biotic powers and the tech mm-hmm. powers so i like yeah. that they gave it a reason that no she's yeah like, not to, not to do it just because yeah. like oh look how so sexy this lady is look at her mm-hmm. butt yep i know i did enjoy her she's always and i i like her motive and i like i mean i do too it, to me to me it's just like I, I i wish we got more of her especially in three but that you know that's a more that's, another thing yeah that's for another thing but i do agree um two who's yeah. your favorite uh, you've always been a Liara, a Liara yeah, guy. So yeah, yeah. So I, now this. I'll tell I'll tell everyone right now. I'm a Liara man. That mm-hmm. means I don't romance anyone in two. I know, mm-hmm. I know that's shocking. He but I, I, I'm, babies. you know, John Marston, Red Dead One. That's me. Mm-hmm. You know, all these ladies. I'm like, I'm sorry, I got a girl at home. I, you know, I've never finished that game. That's something for something else. That's, that's, Anyways, I yeah I don't romance anyone. So as a companion, my favorite person, Garrus is I mean almost always taken. He's just yep. the banter is unmatched. I had, almost I had Garrus and Miranda for me. Yeah, I love I love a good Garrus and Tally because uh, mm-hmm. I won't spoil why, but you get mm-hmm. some good banter between those two too. Yeah, they do. Um, Brent is always a good one. I guess I would have to say Garrus is probably my favorite from this game. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I don't really have a regular th- third person in the game. Thane is so cool. I just like Thane. Oh, for sure. Like yeah. Thane's he's just cool to have. It's just he's just so cool. Like it's kind of mm-hmm. weird how cool he is. Like he's just like he's just assassin guy. He's got this code kind of thing going. Like with with his like god. Mm-hmm. And he prays and stuff. He's, he's he's just so fascinating. I love him. He's mm-hmm. he's kind of like a Mass Effect version of Nightcrawler. 
I've just realized that. Mm, yep, like he's yep, kind of like a Mass Effect version of Nightcrawler. He's this yep. assassiny, very devoted Catholic esque character. God, yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense why I like him so much. But yes, yeah. So if I had to give it, usually the squad is usually Garrus Thane, and then like I said, Garrus Tally, and, you know. And okay. I'm a big old fan of Legion, but you don't don't get mm. this game if you don't yeah. know who Legion in. Of course, is the Geth. You can opt to sell him to Cerberus. Don't know why you would, but but you can activate him if you'd like. Uh, it would. I know Miranda's your favorite. Who's your normal third on the squad? Um, probably Grunt. Grunt, yeah, Grunt's fun. Yeah, Grunt's yeah, Grunt, fun. I like how how like alpha he can be. I like his I also... over the topness as well. Yeah, like how yeah, yeah. like how bombastic he is and just mm-hmm. run around like. Aah! Like he's just screaming half the time, mm-hmm. and, it, and he just screams, "I am Krogan!" and he runs at people. It's so amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I do. Oh, enjoy Jack that. is another one. Oh, for Jack sure, is uh, it's yeah, a huge Jack, person. Yeah. Jack and Thane is actually uh, a, a people I had to bring on to get the uh, combo detonation achievement mm-hmm. because Thane has throw and she has pull, and it's like super easy. She has warp as yeah. well, so it makes it like really easy. Yep. Um. But you, you said your third, so I forget where I was going. Oh, loyalty missions. Mm-hmm. You can, of course, do all the loyalty mission games to ensure everyone doesn't die. And the only way to ensure no one dies and you have enough time in the game, and the game doesn't actually tell you this, which I want to I want to know your opinion, Alex. Okay. They, they don't really tell you all this information, really. They kind of hint like, hey, we all have things in our lives that we want to get settled because to them they're gonna die like you know this is kind of a mission where they kind of assume they're dead um which is which is also kind of somber throughout the game it's kind of a somber note because people mm. do bring it up a lot thane specifically is like oh for sure like yeah i'm dying he tells you like hey i'm yeah i'm dying like I'm, I'm not gonna die and you know this is a way better way than how i'm gonna go so i'll go with you i'll stick with you um but if you do the loyalty missions you talk to them a bunch of times you have to talk to each person a good bit actually to actually trigger the loyalty mission and then you go and do it that makes them loyal to you then you can make sure they don't die at the end of the game but you have to do all of this before you go get the reaper iff yep from the derelict collector ship no not it, the it, that's it's the... no it's it's at the the derelict reaper sorry the, mm-hmm. it's the, the dead yeah, reaper the, like, dead reaper yeah yeah you can steal the reaper rff and put it into normandy but after that there's a timer an invisible timer i think it's two missions or two levels i think it's two, it... it's, it's two missions because i did a loyalty mission mm-hmm. and i did a legions mission and then i did i, I think i believe i did one more thing mm-hmm. and it was like all right gotta go yep so that makes sense and yeah if if you do two missions that triggers the kidnap thing where which i did not expect it and when i originally played this game of course i had a bunch of issues when i first played the game i was still learning mm-hmm. but yeah when that joker scene happens like he gets up like oh shit <laughs> like let me mm-hmm. run and you gotta run and unshackle Edie, which i never really understood as a kid what i was doing i don't know if you did yeah. but when i eventually when i played this in 2010 i was like what did we just do like what did we just <laughs> did we make her smarter and in reality, you are, of course, on Shackling her, so she has full control of the ship, which... Of the ship. Yeah, you mm-hmm. wouldn't generally give that to one person. She can just kill you all at once. Edie's cool. She wouldn't do that. Uh, but, but, how, what do you think of that scene? I enjoyed it. And, and Mass Effect hasn't really done that before, or again, since. Like, we haven't really had a... Because it's meant to show you, like, yeah, this is uh, messed up. They're taking all of your people, and they're killing a lot of them, too. They just straight up kill half of them on your ship. Um, I was definitely not expecting that because I was just like, I mean, I'm, we were just chilling. We were like, mm. okay, we're going to get ready. And then out of nowhere, you see like everybody's leaving, everybody's leaving the ship. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, is nobody staying behind? And I was like, something's off. So literally when they start taking everybody, you see Joker going through the air vents. Uh, mm-hmm. or, or ducks or whatever and he's yeah. you can see the collector literally going uh, walking by you, yeah and very as, scary and as soon as, and then i like it that you get to play as joker it's not just a cutscene. yeah like i, I enjoyed that yeah me too it, it added something to it and you got mm-hmm. 
the limp that he, you know, he has the, yeah, the like, oh, snap, so, yeah. you know, you know, he, it's a little higher stakes too. Cause you know, he can't really run. He has to kind of hide, like he can't mm-hmm. fight people. If he, he probably can't even shoot a gun, which I've never really thought about before now, but if he's um, like, he the, has. that's true. He does shoot the gun at the, at end. the end. Yeah. Well, cause he's crouched down and stuff like that. It's like, you can, as long as you maybe he's being steady. Bed. Yeah. As long as you have good balance. I was just thinking of the recoil. Like, like he shoots in his fucking arm breaks. He probably uses the like holds against something. He, that does kind of look like he does kind of look like he's doing this, going um, against the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, you get the Lloyd's missions, of course, to save everybody. You have to do it in the time frame. Then you have to um get the upgrades, which again, mm-hmm. not something they tell you. They do not tell you you have to upgrade the Normandy at all. There are three mandatory things to make sure everyone lives: the mm-hmm. shielding. Um, that you get from Tally, so the shields for the yep. Normandy, the armor you get from Jacob, he upgrades the armor of the Normandy, and then the Thanex cannon that you get from Garrus. And then, of course, you have to have the resources to make them, and you install on the ship. And that is how you get a perfect ending. Of course, me and Alex have figured all that out by now. Yep. It's been yep. 10 plus years now. But... Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had all perfect endings. Of course, when I first played this game, I think I had two deaths or three deaths and then the normandy crew died because i did not know that was on a timer with the morden one too like i didn't know about that one yeah i don't know if so first off i'm very curious if the achievers know this or if this has ever happened to you alex but Mm -hmm. if any achievers have ever played this game perfectly sometimes morden will just die i don't know if that's ever happened to any of you at home or if this has ever happened to you alex but sometimes when i would play i've played mass effect 2 so many times probably 10 plus times Mm -hmm. for whatever reason and i've actually looked this up on forums and things no one knows why for whatever reason randomly morden will just die in the ending of the mission there's a specific cutscene that plays and it shows morden laying down dying as collectors are running by he could be loyal you can have him do stuff it makes no sense why he dies so to keep that from happening you keep you send morden with the normandy crew when you find them on the collector's and that sometimes make it not happen. I don't think it's ever happened to me sending him, but I wouldn't be surprised if it happened anyway. I think it, the it very first time I ever played it, it happened to me, but this last time it, it didn't happen. I wouldn't be, I'm pretty sure the first time it happened to me too, I think he just ended up dying what it, mm-hmm. randomly. And I think um, I had a few people die from, I did all the upgrades, I'm pretty sure, but I, th- why didn't I have people die? Maybe I didn't do the upgrades. Maybe that's... <clears throat> Maybe I pre- maybe I missed one upgrade. I might have missed the armor, mm-hmm. but I think I maybe. did the cannon and the shields or something like that. I might not have done the shields, but I did the armor mm-hmm. um, because you get tally so late. Not a fan of that. Yeah. Uh, wish they. I wish there was a way to. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how you would do it, but I wish you get tally a tiny bit early. But usually I do get her later, and that's kind of my thing because um, I always get confused if tally starts the timer or the reaper iff, and of course it's the iff. Mm-hmm. Um, but but yeah, Alex, uh, this game, fantastic. Loyalty missions. Do you have a particular loyalty mission that sticks out of mind? This is kind of the companion section. We talked about our favorite mm-hmm. companions. Very curious if you have a specific loyalty mission that you um, think is your favorite. I'll go first. Um, yeah. Mine's between... <sighs> I think I want to say Jack is, really, is a really good one. I have a yeah. big fan of Jack's. Big fan of... Thanes too, just because it's really heartwarming. It's really the only. It's definitely it's, fun. Yeah, it's one of the only loyalty missions, and there's a few other ones, but it's one of the only loyalty missions where the point isn't really to kill somebody. It's actually the opposite. It's you're trying to kind of save somebody. Save I somebody, really, yeah. I really liked that about it, where it's you're trying to save his son from being an assassin like him, and it, it's mm-hmm. it's really nice. I I like that a lot. And then Jack is cool just because like you get to learn more about her. She's so mysterious so anything you i learned about jack i really love um but do you have ones in specific um i like two of them i like the i got um grunts because mm. i like the rite of passage and i like uh, yes. like fighting the big mall uh, yeah pressure mall. get that achievement and, killing it too mm-hmm. and then i i actually i like i kind of like kasumi's i do too it's a it's yeah. so different again i feel like some of these mm-hmm. loyalty missions are very good at Making you remember them. Kasumi's mm-hmm. a really good heist. It feels almost like a movie. 
Like, mm-hmm. like you have this even, pomp and pompish um, movie going even on. Samara's going after her daughter. Like uh, that one was interesting. Too. Another one where it's not the do point not of it isn't to fight her. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. That's silly. Which is which again though very cool that it makes no sense to let you do it from a gameplay mm-hmm. perspective, but they do let you sleep with her, and you mm-hmm. do die <laughs> because yeah. you cannot sleep with them. But yeah. um, and another the, one the, where the point is not to fight. I like that. It's it's unique like like yeah hey you have to go figure out how she killed her or or where she killed her and how to lure mm-hmm. her into trying to get you to sleep with her so you can kind of corner her so samara can come and murder her mm-hmm. and also terrible choice if you pick more over samara come on oh come on come on yeah, i it's definitely was about nah i won't say it you <laughs> you would see more again later in the third game but i won't spoil that here if you did save her, but that's a terrible option. If you did, um, yeah, you said you said your two right, Alex, that you loved. Yeah, I grunts uh, because you the right of passage and yeah. you actually get you get to see old boy Rex there again. Oh, Rex, hell mm-hmm. yeah, he was so happy. I loved how happy he was. I was like, God, like, yes, sure. we're we're brothers, like we're like little Krogan brothers. So mm-hmm. happy for us. I love that guy. It's so cool. Uh, so I'll save it for the next game. I was about to come. I was about to rant. About to rant. Mm-hmm. I'll save it for the next, next game. game. Next save game. for the next game. We'll be back next week. Yep, yep. <laughs> and um, but yeah, this is a. Uh, that's all the specific missions. This this game is something special to me because it's crazy how much better they were able to to make this game. Like like mm-hmm. with the gameplay, with the story, with the memorable characters. Um, this is a lot of people's favorite game, first off of all time, and out of the series. And I mm-hmm. can't disagree with with them. I, I mean. I am a Mass Effect 3 guy, but I definitely understand where you're coming from because it is a fantastic game. Fantastic yeah. game. And um and ending wise, Alex. And mm. I want to talk to you about some choices, but I want to I I want to know ending it's pretty I'm, I think it's pretty clear, but do you let uh, Lucy man have the ga- uh the collector base? Or do you uh, blow it up? No, I blow that shit yeah, up. Yeah, I blow that shit up too. I I'm very curious on who on aside from just being the renegade option, why someone else would pick the other one? Because like it's different for actually, and with the, his overall sentiment is mm-hmm. I want to use it for the Reapers, and if I knew that's why he wanted to use it, mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, let's do it. Like let's use this to fight Reapers, but I'm having to trust elusive man to kill the Re- no, nope, 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 mm-hmm. not him. I would, I would trust maybe the alliance with it. I'm not trusting the elusive man with this thing. Mm-mm. Not this liquid. Uh, and by the way, that was disturbing when I first played the game. The liquefied humans, liquefying humans to make re. Oh my god! Now, mm. that's another thing we learned in this game. Reapers are liquefied versions of their native mm-hmm. species. I guess you not native, but the species that they reaped from. Mm-hmm. Boy, that is dark. My God, they. Oh God, the, the sight of like when you go up to the person, and you're like, "Hey, is everything okay?" And she wakes up, and you just watch her dissolve in front of you. I'm like, Jesus, Mass Effect. My God, I, I didn't, yeah. didn't know if we needed to see that. Yep. But and then you and then you see them uh, making that uh human Reaper. Mm-hmm. What did you think about that? I didn't love it personally. It, it felt was- a little strange it's a little Just strange but kind of you... like like oh of course they did this i i i i like it as a concept like yeah it looks cool i i want to see him finished like is it just like a man like flying yes. around well, it looks like like if it would have been finished it would kind of look like a uh what are they called the sentinels from marvel the big the huge that's thing. what i'm saying yeah like is it just yeah, yeah. when it walks around is it gonna have armor is it like all skull and bones like it i wanted to see it finished because like that was Let like go, <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh and they said that was a baby reaper which is again another creepy thing to say but i wanted to like, see it like does it grow like it's weird well that's another thing with reapers and we'll get more into it in the next game but like apparently these things like have like programs inside of them so it's, it's not like one reaper it's a bunch of people inside of it being a reaper it's cre- it's weird like it, this game i re- this next game 
Next game. There's a lot of Har- next game stuff I want to talk about. But Harbinger. Har- yeah, there's Harbinger. Yeah, all this, all that crazy stuff. But let's uh, let's move off from that. Um, DLC. Mm-hmm. I'm. Let's not start with the obvious one. <laughs> what did you think of Project Overload? I personally love that DLC. As of course with um, or is it Overlord? Whatever. Oh, Whatever the guy with the hoses in his mouth. So mm, that's one of my overlord. that's one of my favorite stories in Mass Effect. Personally, this it's, this man who has this power to communicate mathematically with Geth. It's so cool, and they try to use that to control them, and it blows up in their face. Oh, it is. I I love all I, from from point A to point B. And then when you find David. When you find him in his state of like, like comatose, I guess is the best way of saying, just mm-hmm. poses and he's crying. His eyes are being lit, like pulled open, like he can't. Yeah, oh, like, Jesus! Please. And the guy, and the dude comes in, and is like, yeah, this isn't what I wanted to. Ha- what do you mean this isn't what happened? There has to be a lot of steps before you get to hoses in the mouth. Mm-hmm. So I was uh, a little sad I couldn't shoot him in the face, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. What were your thoughts? I think, um, no, yeah. As soon as I was like doing this one, I was like, oh, there's like this digital thing happening, and you actually go into the kind of this like this VR AR simulation yeah. thing. It's super cool. But yeah, then when you see David and he's just like all that stuff, I'm like, whoa, this is not okay. Yeah. I'm going to be transparent with all the achievers really quick, too. Mm-hmm. There's another DLC called uh, Firewalk. Firewalker. It sucks. It sucks. It yeah. sucks. I'll say it again. It sucks. Mm-hmm. Didn't play it. Didn't want to play it, so I didn't play it. All right. Achievers, you can be upset if you want. I'm sorry. I failed you. I am not playing that again. I've played it like six or seven times, and it somehow gets less fun every time. So <laughs> I'm not playing it. But... We did go. Now we get to the best one. To one of my favorite DLCs, period of all time, mm-hmm. Lair of the Shadow Broker. You find Liara on Ilium, love of my life. You talk to her. You're like, hey, we got this thing we gotta go do. I'm doing a suicide mission. Can you help? She goes, nah. I got other stuff going on. All right, <laughs> I would be cool if you all helped, right. but whatever. Um, and then we go. Yeah, let's go find the Shadow Broker. All right, cool. So so we go do that. And mm-hmm. it starts off like a spy thriller. You you go to her apartment. Someone's tried to kill her. You got to investigate. Liara being the badass she is, she was like shielded in her house. Fucking, mm-hmm. she's genius. Genius. Shielded in her house. Then you piece together things like you have to touch like the Elio stuff around the house mm-hmm. and that like gives you like hidden messages and you go find yep. it. And it's only sent to, it's only to you because you know, to your you're... DNA. Mm-hmm. Dope. Did you ever read the comic books of finding Commander Shepard's body? No, I've, I've heard they're really good though. Very good. Only five issues. Really good. So you basically follow Liara as she's trying to get your body back mm-hmm. to Cerberus. Yep. To, so they make you. Again. Yeah, because she, yeah, so she's cool. the one who found your body to give to servers to revive you. Yep. So fucking good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I recommend the Achievers. Right? Just ch- type in Mass Effect on Comixology. You'll mm-hmm. find it. Find no I think it's Retribution is what's going on. It's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. I could do a quick search for you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, We're on Liara. Yeah, so we fi- find the Spectre. I don't remember her name, but we, we kill her, so it doesn't matter. But we find the Spectre. We... Or like she's like, oh, I wonder who shot at her. <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's, it's retribution. I was right. Holy shit. Uh, you go find Lear, of course, and you kill the Spectre Lady after a very mm-hmm. long winded car chase, which was kind of cool. Kind of cool, kind of hard to control. It was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. it was a bit of a mess. Bit of a mess. It, I love it, yeah. but it is a mess. You have no control. It looks this like it's like revenge of the sith is punching me in the face every time i play this because i can't not think about the revenge of the sith scene when they're well, it's, it's clone wars sorry you're right it's clone wars 
terrible the movies. I try yeah, not to where, remember them. Where, yeah, they have Padme sleeping, and there's like that bug that comes into the room, <laughs> and then they come in with the yeah. lightsabers, and they're like, "Oh, we gotta chase them now." And he, and he hits them, and, and then, it's yeah, weird they're how I know that fucking scene because I've seen it so many times. Yeah, yeah, you have. And yeah, and there's that flying, and he jumps and tries to grab. Yeah, just jumps, and I'm surprised it doesn't hurt his crotch. Force, I guess. Anyways, like a force cup. <laughs> Anyways, um, we do the terrible chase. She crashes. Mm-hmm. We get the really funny scene with um, ah, uh, what's the name of the club? The club is named after um, oh, a, a, um... A, an Asari feminine area, and he is where is mm-hmm. it located? And she says, uh. In the lower wards, uh, uh, past the mid. No, man on the body. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, she's like, so did so I. Did I. <laughs> God, yeah. it's such a cool scene. So much uh, character with that too. Uh, and then mm-hmm. you murder her in cold blood, the specter. And then you move on to actually find the shadow broker. You find shadow brokers first off, dope ass pad. He has a cool ship. Like, oh yeah. Are you kidding me? First off, he's in a gas giant, and there's a perpetual storm happening around him, so he's just chilling in a storm, so no one can find him. The thing is now also powered by the storm, so the actual storm is powering his ship. Mm-hmm. The shadow broker's so cool. You go in there, you fight this shadow broker dude. It's a yarl. It's <laughs> he's got a, a, a yeah, yeah, it's a, that yog. Or, yeah, he's got that gross face. Definitely don't want to put your hand in there. The boss fight, little strange. Be honest with you, Alex. Yeah. You like get this weird thing. You kind of do the same thing like three times. And then Aliara's yeah. like, I have an idea. Do the same thing again. It's like, all right, I'll do it again. And you no, do it again. Punch up in the face. So, what do you think of what? <laughs> like, why you are they letting us. going to punch him in the face. Why are they letting us punch this man? Now, they could have at least showed something maybe. But like that would be like if like the Omni Blade or something. That yeah, would be Omni like Blade. if me or Alex punched the Big Show. Oh, like yeah. it's like, sure would he feel it? Maybe. Maybe. But it's <laughs> not gonna affect him. <laughs> no. He's gonna look at us and then he's gonna be like, choke slam us. He's gonna be like, you fucked up. Like that's yep. not. That's not. You don't want to go hand to hand combat with that guy. Also, you have a gun, Commander. Commander, you have a gun. You put your gun away to punch him. What's going on with this? Remember, the guns don't work because of the shield, but apparently your fist can get through the shield. I don't understand. <laughs> that's, that's what it looked like, too. It was like such a, like, eh, yeah, like a little that. punch. They made it look like that, but still, you knock him back a couple feet. How like how are you this strong? It's like anime. It's, uh, how, how much power do you have? It's over 9,000. <laughs> and then you very violently kill him. <laughs> and and mm-hmm. with his... All that electric goo. El- yeah, goo stuff and you vaporize him and then you make out with your girlfriend in the vaporized matter of this dude that's a fucking dlc if i've ever heard one alex i mean yeah i guess yeah and then liara walks over to a console looks around and goes i guess i'm the shadow broker now and hits a button and says that's what it is and i i guess that's how this works (laughs) Mm -hmm. they're like yeah nobody's ever seen him i guess that's me now and everybody looked at him uh okay it, well, my thing is what like was his name? no his... one, no one seen it? him. All right. Uh, what, what's the best friend? Um, the, the, that uh, Barrow. Uh, it starts with an F. It starts Barrow? with an F. I Farron? 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 Farron, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and literally, he's just like, uh, are you, there's no way the shadow broker is like, no, no, no. I just turned into one just now, and I was you, like, you forget. He's, he's like, like, like oh. this, like, oh. Oh, <laughs> he's yeah. like, oh my god, my ribs. He's like, he's like limping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, he's like, I, I, you're the shadow broker. It's like, yeah, we just killed him. You were not here for that. So, <laughs> and that's the shadow broker deal. So you get a little cute scene with Liar. If you invite her back to the Normandy, you can make mm-hmm. out and bang, eh, bang or mind meld, whatever you want to call it. And bang. that's yeah, yeah, it's not really banging, but. Yeah, that's Mass Effect 2 in a nutshell. We've talked most most about the game. What um first off, Alex, hmm. let's talk about the, the differences between Mass Effect 1 and 2. For the better or for worse, cuz now there isn't re so we didn't even talk about the probing aspect of the game and things like that. Hmm. You have to gather materials. First and foremost, do you one like probing at all. Two, mm. like the material-esque farming thing you have to do to get upgrades. 
And then three, do you like these kind of side quests that you sometimes like scan a place and find one and you go do it? Answer in any order you would like. Okay. One, probing. No, thanks. Too much. It's just a, it's too much. Like if they did like, like, okay. It, if they cut it. probing in half, like if you do half as much probing, would have been fine. Literally what they did for three, and we'll get to that. It, like that was fine. Um, the materials, I thought it was fine. I feel like um, it was, it was very like random though. I mean, I guess you get some planets where you're like, oh, there's a bit, this one's very rare with this. But like, I feel like I was, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be rare. The Ezo, that one's just so hard to come by. And I feel like I was using them so fast. I, this is something I don't um really fall in with the community. Cause this is a huge meme. Like, yeah, Ezo's like hard to find. I, for some reason, have n- n- never have trouble finding it. I don't know really? why. I don't know why. I've This isn't I've, just a you thing, Alex. This is a thing in the community everyone jokes about. Everyone mm-hmm. makes memes about. It's They think it's hilarious. I've literally never at one point been like, oh, I really need Ezo right now. Like, I've, I I've never needed Ezo that. I had in the whole in the whole game. Maybe twenty to 25,000. That's it. In the whole game. And I've had maybe over 200,000 of each for all the other ones. I got all the upgrades in the game. Do you know if you did? Yes. Okay. As in pay, paid for them all. Do you mean the, like... Yeah, you mean, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure, like, you unlocked yeah, yeah. each... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I did too. Yeah. I'm just curious if you did. Mm. Um, And then the uh, third one I was... I um, did everything. Did you like the side, mas- side missions? Yes, I did enjoy that because I, I mean some missions were kind of like oh, a little quick and here and there that you did this. Some of them sucked. Me, was, yeah, come, some of them were a little too quick. I'm like, oh, okay, what was the point of this? And well, some of them ends. were just like not fun. No, yeah. Literally, I went into one. It says that I have to like make sure that these boxes don't break. There's atlases everywhere. Yeah, I did that one too. And it's literally, like- it says 16 boxes remaining. And I'm like, at first, I didn't realize. I was like, oh, you gotta, you gotta make sure the boxes don't break. I thought it was. I thought I had to destroy them, so I kept shooting the boxes. <laughs> That's awesome. So by That's the end, awesome. I killed everything. It says I have like a couple left, and it's like, oh, you passed that anyways. Oh, I was like, what was the point of this? Then I think they give you some money per box. I don't know. I did it. I did okay. it too. It's no, it's just it's like a terrible good, mission. Somewhere it's, not, a ter- like, it's a terrible mission. There's one mission yeah. specifically I remember. It's uh, you do you remember the Klexen? Cle- those weird bug tower looking things that oh, blow up when you yeah, kill it. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. that mission where you fight them and it's like dusty and you have to like run through stuff. You can't really see them, so they kind of sneak mm-hmm. up on you. That's a good one. There's also one where you walk through an old ship and you just walk through it the whole time. Terrible, terrible <laughs> mission. Never do anything like that again. Quick question, Alex. Hmm. Mass Effect One. Okay. Do you prefer the open world to eat? Not really open world, but like you, you get these kind of different sandboxes mm-hmm. in the planets. Do you prefer that? Or do you prefer this exploration? Where you're finding random planets probing. Now it, de- now it depends because I don't want the sandbox to be literally a flat, like just a plain surface of mountains that I have to keep climbing and there's nothing in between. Like, for example, one, that was, it's just, it was too much, way too much. Um, so you prefer two, two. Uh, two? Well, I enjoyed two, but some, like I said, some of the missions were not enough, and I did want the open world. Mm. So then you go to three, which we'll, we'll talk about, the, which was fixed. Depending and, on who you talk to. Yeah. So okay, let's go back to the. I think it was project. Was it Project Overload? Uh, where you yes. get to be inside the hammer, mm-hmm. the hammerhead. Yeah. So that little area, I, that it could have been that, and I was been fine. Like that little. I see what you're saying. I I enjoy the Project Overload area. Um, Very open space. You get to fly Mm -hmm. around and shoot at stuff. Um, I see what you're saying. I liked that too, but I I feel like it's very similar to what you did say, where it's just kind of point A to point B, and you're not really doing anything of worth Mm. going there. Um, And I never was a fan of the lava area. That was kind of boring. Mm. Jump from lava, I I float. I mean, but it doesn't hurt you. The lava? Yeah, it does. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the lava hurts you. So I mean, that's what I'm saying. You float. Yeah. yeah, but I float. Why does it hurt me? I'm floating. The heat. 
but like the, is the rock really saving that much heat from me i'm i'm around I mean, the lava the whole time i mean i mean you're on molten you're on molten rock versus the straight up lava it, it, it's definitely going to be some heat difference. i i don't know i i I've I've always look, been like, do we really look, need this? Look, like, is like, this it's necessary? Like hand, it's like sticking your hand on the stove. You have a, a like big a mitten on. You're not gonna be able to feel it that much. But if you take it off, you're gonna feel that shit. Yeah, but the but but this is a high tech tank, and I'm floating in the air. Can I not just float above the lava? I guess not. I guess not. I mean, I'm yeah, answering I'm, my own question, but I think it's just it was just weird. Whatever. Maybe it needs solid ground because it's not technically a solid. It's a more of a liquid, like water. You can't really hover on the water. I don't think either. Uh, the lava's still solid. We're it's you're not stuck a solid. in the, the liquid. No, it's not really liquid. It's still molten rock. It's molten rock, but it's not liquid. You can't pour it. It's not. It's not this. I mean, it is uh, technically pouring out of a volcano. Uh, uh, is lava still technically a solid? <laughs> I don't know. That's actually, a do good we point. have to look this up? Look it up. Okay. While I close the show, this was Mass Effect okay. 2 spoiler cast. We're gonna talk about lava for the next twenty minutes, but uh, I figured you don't want to be a part of that. If you think lava is a liquid or a solid, comment below. Uh, but of course, okay. um, uh, final thoughts. Uh, this was a fantastic game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. This is an incredible step in the right direction with Bioware from Mass Effect One to Two. This is one of the biggest differences in quality from a game series ever and it is still to this day it, it's i i only compare the this with like almost like last of us where it's like this game is so much better than other games <laughs> like it's not even close just like last of us one and two and like uncharted three and four it's just mm-hmm. crazy how much better this game is than other games like the quality is like like on the roof and then, like, like everything else is like, like you know, it's still great, but it's nowhere close. Like, master god, love this game. Alex, any final thoughts? A lot. Mm, hey, Mass Effect. <laughs> I was about to talk about a lot. <laughs> yeah, you were. Um, but no, I I love Mass Effect too. It definitely is going to um, rival three a lot because I really enjoy three. Yeah, so we're gonna actually but, gonna rank the games. Um, yes. At at three. Yes. So I'll be very curious. But so far, I'd love to. Big fan. Alex. Yes. We end every video. Lava's with... a liquid. There we go. Okay. Lava is a liquid. Yeah. Lava merges as a liquid onto the Earth's surface. And then it cools down to become a. Uh, to, it cools to, a, to a solid to become a yes. rock again. Okay. Yes. I'll admit when I'm wrong. This wasn't in one of those times, but. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> thank, thank you so much for listening to this Mass Effect 2 spoiler cast. We're going to go probably play Mass Effect again. Who knows? Um, I mean, I beat, I beat all three, and so I just we. restarted one yeah, again. We did we did beat all three. We love Literally, you. Rem- I played Andromeda. We did. No. Yeah. <laughs> Comment below, what was your favorite squad main? I want to know favorite squad main. I want to know favorite loyalty mission. I want to know some of your favorite choices in the game. We didn't really get to the choices, but I feel like a lot of really consequential choices in this game aside from making sure everyone did their loyalty missions and you made sure no one died and then the ending that's really it Mm -hmm. for really the big choices um but uh, but okay everyone remember click click go chief go chief